What's going on guys? This is Fletch here on Ultimate Halo and today we are going to be playing the Forza Horizon 4 Halo Warthog run but in first person. So I've seen quite a few videos, I've seen Green School, I've seen Uber Nick, I've seen IGN play it all but actually I don't really think I've seen too many people play it first person. There probably has but it's probably me not paying much attention just like driving into that car there. What I would like to do, I would like to show you guys what this is like. And first and foremost, whilst we're just driving there, I would like to say this game is and looks fantastic. But they've also done an amazing job in nailing the physics, the handling, the speed, the looks of the Halo Warthog. And I was really surprised. I will play with my good friend Dean Abdu. Uh, we were playing the Halo Showcase in Forza Horizon 4 together. And genuinely, I was shocked. I didn't think they put this much detail into it. I thought it would just be a nice little easter egg, but no, this thing is in a world of its own. And as well as that, it's kind of crazy playing something Halo related in a UK based setting. Um, we played in Africa, uh, we did that in Halo 2 and 3, but it's very strange to be walking and dri well driving around British streets in a warthog um, and as you can see I've actually just switched to first person mode here and there's a lot of detail on the interior of the design but the thing is about this warthog it I, I drive a Lamborghini in this game I won it in one of the sort of windspiel things you can do if you win a race and one of the things that I was really surprised about was how high it is they actually gave this thing a lot of weight a lot of height so going through rivers normally you see quite a big impact on your car whilst driving through it but the halo warthog absolutely just plows through rivers it's it's crazy i mean look at me driving next to these cars now it's tiny and if you actually watch the interview with a grim brother one on the ign video um he actually did say they scaled it down quite significantly so to actually realize how big this thing could be if it wasn't scaled down is absolutely insane so we're going to skip forward we're going to go to the halo showcase and we'll be there like that so just before we go into the race i did just want to show you guys what this thing looks like in photo mode uh, i actually did a video about uh theater in halo 5 and the photo modes that various other games have such as spider-man that could really take advantage, uh, that Halo Infinite can take advantage of. So I would suggest going and watching that video, it'll be in the description below. And I just want to sort of emphasize like the detail on this thing. I'm just going to try and figure out. Yeah, okay. So I just look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to take a picture of that because that is pretty damn cool. Um, save. Now, I'm not normally a big racing guy, um, to be honest with you, it's not really an interest of mine. I've played quite a few games. In fact, I remember Project Gotham Racing on the original Xbox. That used to be my jam as a kid. That was more when I was a little bit more interested in cars. But, I mean, the only really reason why I did pick this game up was because of the Warthog. And, and honestly, I don't regret it. This is actually a fantastic game. Um, so I would encourage you guys to even try Xbox Game Pass because that's how I'm playing this game. I thought, you know what, I'm going to finally give in, give Game Pass a go and genuinely... It's a really good value. I'm already playing games I would have never played before that are actually really good quality. So we're going to get into it. We're going to play the showcase. And here we go. I will admit one of the kind of cringy things about this game is that your characters have emotes. And I've seen some pretty god awful ones like the flossing dance thing. But here we can see the Master Chief. I, it kind of looks weird. Um, I think it's just like a normally proportioned body from what I can establish with a... Um, Miona armor set on it. I, I don't know, but it's really cool that they put things like the Pelican and there are other aesthetic pieces that you will see in the showcase that really highlight Halo and it's not just a Warthog, the Chief and a Pelican. There's a lot more. I mean, you can see the damn skybox in the background. It's just ridiculous. There's so much detail and you can hear Cortana in the background. It's a little bit quiet. I'm not really playing the full audio in the background, but there are a few cheesy lines that Cortana does say in this that really make my skin crawl um but it's good fun i mean you can see a covenant ship in the, in the damn sky i mean so we're gonna put this in first person first person i always find quite difficult in these kind of games but um i i just i don't know i like to get a full width and feel the view of what i'm doing and what's ahead of me i have no idea what i'm doing right now um, but the detail is awesome you can actually see chief's hands it's just awesome 
and I'm like running around a castle in Edinburgh just in a damn warthog. This would never happen. Um, but there is a part later on where Cortana, we go through like a, a tunnel, uh, like just like a normal driving tunnel, and Cortana goes, this cave is not a natural formation. I'm, I'm just like, Jesus Cortana, just stop, <laughs> like now. So as you can see, just normal British houses. I'm trying to listen to Cortana at the same time, I'm trying to listen to all the cheesy stuff she's saying, but I'm, I'm kind of just trying to zone out. Um, I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit, just so I've got a better field of view. Um, it's a little bit difficult to tell where I'm going at this angle. Um, there's a little mirror there, if you could catch that. There it is, I can see it right behind me. And there are other sort of angles you can get your car right. You've got to make sure you hit these checkpoints as well, otherwise you have to go back. Uh, I will admit, these are highly scripted, but look, you know, you've even got the energy shield things there. It's just ridiculous. All right, we're going to try and go back to the normal mode. I'm sending you coordinates for an LZ, requesting immediate evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. And you tend to keep pace with the pelican throughout the whole thing. Um, and it watch where I'm going. Shit. There it is. So it tends to keep pace with it. It's really dramatic. And it, and eventually, well, the further you go, because the sort of premise is that we're supposedly on a halo ring with Edinburgh on it. I don't know how this works. I'll oh, listen to this. This cave is not a natural formation. See what I mean? Uh. I do like those little touches though, it's just a little nod to the Halo fandom and people do love this. Wow, I, I mean you'd never see a Banshee going through a tunnel on Metropolis on Halo or whichever mission it was on Halo 2. Um, that was actually one of the hard things, you had to go through and get it to get the Scarab gun. Um, and you can, like I say, you can unlock this, it's 850,000 credits for the Warthog just to drive around in, in general. Um, and you, you have to unlock the Halo horn separately, but you can attach that to any... Um, damn. Uh, you can attach that to anything you want. I don't know where this pelican is. I can't see much at the moment. Oh, my God. Did I just hit it? Damn. Uh, so you can attach the Halo Warthog horn to any vehicle you want. If I, you want to put it on a Ferrari, you can put the Halo horn on a Ferrari. Okay. I, I kind of mess up this part. Bear with me, guys. I'm not a good driver. We're not gonna make it. Pilot, this would be a very okay. good time to leave. Horizon Festival training module complete. Initiating upload of results to UNSC Fleetcom. Okay, there we go. So it is a nice nod to the Halo fandom. If you, I believe you could get the Halo Warthog in Forza Horizon 3. But I don't quite recall what exactly you can do with it. I know you can sort of look at the model itself. And you can do so in this. You can inspect to the inside and the outside. Let's see what we get on the wheel spin. Hopefully a new car. Say it. No, you could have got a Viper, but you can give me a Velvet Bomber Jacker instead. In fact, I want that Miona armor. If that's possible, I'm not too sure. If you do know if that is possible or not, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. And that is it. That is the Halo Warthog. I really hope you enjoyed this video. My Twitter is at FletchUH. I do post about these kind of things and lots of Halo stuff in general. So follow me and I will see you next time on the one and the only Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content.